Differently from Facebook, which is considered everywhere and by everyone a social network, Twitter is often defined as a microblogging platform. That should be great for people who want to blog but don't want to blog. Sometimes people want to share updates about their personal life and want to do this very quickly, and Twitter is the perfect place for them. Obviously, through time, Twitter has evolved into much more than a simple microblogging service. It is now considered as a tool for social messaging, news reporting, social media marketing, and much more. It is many different things to many different people. That is why I think you absolutely need to learn how to use it and discover its potential, because it could do great things for you too. Plus, as most other social networks, it's free for everyone to use. In my career, I've heard many people saying, Twitter is just not for me. And they said so simply because at first it looks very different from, for example, Facebook. Truth is, using Twitter is as simple as signing onto the service and typing in a message. What on Facebook would be a status update, on Twitter is called a tweet, and cannot be longer than 130 characters, which is basically the same limitation of text messaging on mobile phones. Just type your message into the text box under where it says what's happening, and when you're finished, click the update button. Awesome, you have sent your first tweet. Just like Facebook, you need to set a profile photo, a cover image, and some basic information about yourself. Differently from Facebook, however, everyone and everything has a Twitter account. There are no business pages or groups, just accounts. On Facebook, account connections have to be reciprocal, but on Twitter you can follow someone else, but this person might not follow you in turn. You might start following your friends and people you know at first. When you open your account, Twitter's algorithm doesn't know you very well, and thus cannot logically suggest people for you to follow. Once you get rolling, Twitter will give you better follow suggestions based on your interests. If someone follows you, there's no requirement for you to follow him or her back. When you see an interesting tweet, just click reply and add your thoughts. Clicking expand or view conversation on a tweet will display all the responses that a message received, including tweets from people you aren't following. You can see when someone follows or mentions you in the notifications tab at the top of the page. Another way to communicate on Twitter is through direct messaging, called DM. The messages are private between you and the receiver, so they are not public updates. If you see a tweet that you wish to share with your followers, you can retweet it. It is through retweets that information spreads and goes viral. A distinctive feature of Twitter, which was then copied by other social networks, is hashtags. Hashtags label and indicate the subject matter of certain conversations. The hashtag is represented by this sign. Putting the symbol in front of a word indicates the subject you are talking about. The words you use after the hashtag become searchable because Twitter tracks them. If you click on a particular hashtag, you'll be able to see all tweets that have also used that hashtag. We'll see how you can use hashtags to expand your Twitter audience in our next lecture.